Hey everyone, Mrs. Rouse here. Um, I'm going to show you the second video for today on the Doghouse Mailbox Birdhouse project. So we're going to be putting in the birdhouse on the top of this drawing. And so I'm probably just going to kind of slide this down a little bit so it's easier for me to get to. And I think I'll put some uh, tape on it because so it doesn't move around since I've slid it off with me. Anyway, so what we're going to do, we're going to get started right away. The birdhouse has a couple details that are just a little bit different and a couple things that are slightly advanced. Uh, but because we've done what we've done, it's actually we're going to move along with this video fairly quickly. I just want to remind you again, and I'll probably say it at the end of the video again, is the idea is that you will um, add more to your drawing than just the minimal things that I have in my drawing if you want to get up into the A for your project. Okay, so where are we going to put our birdhouse? So the birdhouse is going to open up, um, it's going to have a, a hole in it. Oh, well, here I'll show you a sample. It's going to look something like this. It's going to face one direction. It's somewhat of a square. So, um, and it's going to have a post-it on so I think just the layout of my drawing, I think I want the post to come down here somewhere. So I think I'm going to put my birdhouse up here. It's really up to you where, you know, where you want your birdhouse, which direction you want it to be. I just, I just think about the fact that something's coming down from your birdhouse or where it can always go right behind these other things if you want to hear, or you can put it here. It's really, it's really up to you. So, uh, to start putting this birdhouse in, we're going to go a st put a line. We always have our front line, right? So, just like in the other things that we've been drawing, I'm talking about this front line of the box. This is what we're putting in first. We're going to make a mark. I want them all to be the same height. That is three inches above the horizon line. So, three inches up, I put a little mark right there. That's the bottom of my line. The length of my line, the birdhouse is a little smaller than the other objects. This was four inches, this was two inches. This one's going to be just an inch and a half. So one and one half inches. That's how long this line is going to be. So from this mark, moving up just an inch and a half, that's how tall I want my birdhouse to be. So three inches up and then an inch and a half in length. And then I just need my very, very vertical line. Probably on your drawings as well, you're going to have to use the top of the paper for your vertical lines instead of the bottom. If you're here in the classroom, I actually have some really large uh, angles you can use um, if you want, if you'd rather keep working from the bottom. So just ask me when you're here, if you're here in person. Okay, so I put my line in. It's an inch and a half long. And it's three inches from the base. And I'm going to kind of clean it up a little bit. This is a not a hard detail, but it's a little bit smaller, so I have less room to work with while I'm making my birdhouse. So three inches up, getting rid of my three inches, and I'm getting rid of my inch and a half. Uh, three inches up. So it's in two-point perspective again. So we're going to draw the left side to the left vanishing point and the right side to the right vanishing point. Why didn't I write left here? Left. Okay. So. Um, Top and we've done this before, right? Lots of times. So the top of my line, it's a little bit of a stronger angle because it's so far away from the horizon line. That's okay, it's gonna look dramatic. Um, it's not very big, a little bit like a square, so you don't have to take the lines too far. So the top and the bottom towards the left vanishing point, and then the top and the bottom towards the right vanishing point. Now, I do want this to look like a square, but I know that because of the location, I'm going to see more of this side because it's more towards the middle, a little bit less of that side. So when I make my decision on where these two lines go, I think I, I kind of like this look. It's up to you about where do you want your two lines to be. And then we need two very vertical lines to finish the sides here. I'm going to make this larger. Okay, there you go. Two very vertical lines for the sides. So I'm using um, personal decision, creative decision, exactly where they go. 
But now you're going to make them very vertical by using the top of the paper. And then very vertical again. Look at the top of my paper. You can, if you put in your horizon line like perfectly, you could also use your horizon line uh, for your angle. I just usually don't because uh, I'm not a perfect person. <laughs> I don't know. I don't trust anything I draw. Uh, but you can you can use your horizon line. It should be it should be great so if you don't want to use the top of your paper. And so I'm erasing extra things uh, because our details are a little small. Keep this one a little bit on the clean side at this point. Clean this one up. Um, Okay, now this one is above our, our uh, eye line. So if it's with your eye line, uh, it's going to overlap. So we have below the horizon line, you see the top. On the horizon line, you, you don't see the top or the bottom. That was the mailbox. Now it's above us. You're going to see the bottom of this, okay? So we're not going to see the bottom of the birdhouse. So we've changed our views. It's one of the reasons why this project set up this way. So you kind of get used to things in different locations. So um, to find the bottom of this, if you remember, there's only two kinds of lines. The lines are either going to a vanishing point or they're vertical. So um, the line to find the bottom, it's obviously not going to be a vertical line. So it has to go to the vanishing points. If you remember from these two corners, we crisscross to the opposite vanishing points. So from this far corner on the right side, I'm going to draw a line towards the left vanishing point. This line, in fact, I'm going to extend it because it, some of you are having a hard time seeing these things. This line here goes to the vanishing point. And then I'm going to crisscross it on the left corner here. It's going to go to the right side vanishing point. And I'm going to like that. I don't want this to end up in my drawing. So they crisscrossed to the vanishing points. Remember, they're not just angles going any old place. They have a very specific location. Uh, next thing we're going to do is this one had a post on it. So our next detail is actually going to have a pole, or like a circular thing, like a broom is on a pole, a wooden pole. You also see, often see these on a metal pole or a wooden pole. So it'd be a normal thing to see. It's going to be pretty tall. So let me get this back. Um, wait, come on, stop zooming. Okay, I have to make this back this way again. This might be tricky, so I might have to draw my lines twice. All right, so the pole's going to be right in the middle of the bottom. How do I find the middle of the bottom? Same way we find the middle of anything, we cross our two diagonals. Um, we can do this, in, you know, here it's tucked away once, twice, tucked away three times. We can still do the same thing to find the bottom. So let's cross the two diagonals. Somebody a thousand years ago said, I know. All we have to do is cross. That's about how long ago it was that these things were just starting to be invented. Perspective comes from the Renaissance. But you know, I'm sure they were playing with it before and eventually had it all figured out. So here's the bottom of my birdhouse. I want to pull going up to that point. Um, and then I'm going to, um, I can take off, I don't need the whole diagram because I just want to part of it. So um, these two vertical lines, see I can't get there. I'm going to start from the horizon line or I'll start from the top of the page. I need a vertical line that's attaching to it right over the middle. So I need a line kind of like here and here. So. Um, this is a pole that the birdhouse is sitting on. I'm going to take it down here. It's a pretty good size one. I don't know why. I guess they have hurricanes or the birds like people to really worry about them. So it's coming down the page. I can only get it part way down, so all I have to do is take here on the bottom of my paper and take those same lines down. With an angle, get a nice little vertical. Then you have to decide where are they going. You know, I think I'm going to have mine right here next to the uh, doghouse. So it's a little bit, if you're standing there, it's a little bit in your face. <laughs> uh, 
That's okay. That was an in your face kind of thing. And that's pretty large too, so it goes with the drawing. I, I've drawn done drawings where I had the, the birdhouse, I've had the lines come all the way down here, so it looked like it was really close. Um, anyway, the next thing, you know, just like the post below the horizon line, you're looking down at it, above, uh, you're looking up at it. The same thing with this pole. So let's take this out. Let's take out horizon line. Take out anything that's in here. Um, looking up at it, you'll see a rounded top on it where it's attached to the birdhouse. Down here at the bottom, it'll be rounded in the other direction. Maybe I'll have some beads here. Whatever. So looking up at the rounded part, looking down. Just practicing seeing how this whole thing works. So that's why we did that detail the way we did it. Okay, now we're going to move back up here again. Um, so, so for some other details on the birdhouse, uh, one thing we're going to do is we're going to put a flat roof on top. It's kind of a simple detail. It's a little bit like putting the mat up in front, only we're really not exploding. We're just kind of overlapping. So watch how I do this. Um, right above the corner here, it's really specific. So right here in the corner, top corner of the dog birdhouse, you're going to leave a little space and then draw a vertical line. So right above this corner, leave a space and then put in a tiny little vertical line. Leave a space. See, I used this one right above that corner. So we're putting in a board that's going to be like an overhanging roof, so, you know, keep some coal inside. Okay, so it's a board, so we're putting in perspective, so the top and the bottom of that. Hey, classes. Something awkward just happened. I was working on the video, and then all of a sudden the computer said, No, you can't. There's too much space you're using and it just ended the video on me. So I hope that I'm getting you back to the same place. Uh, so we're going to, I'm going to finish off the video now, just a few more steps. Uh, what we had done is we're putting a, a flat roof on the birdhouse and um, it's going to be basically just a flat box up in space, but it's going to look great. So to put it into the drawing, we have to put it in perspective using the same vanishing points. So on the left side, we're going to draw from the top and the bottom of this line that's right above the corner of the birdhouse towards the left vanishing point. It's important that you go past this corner. This corner is going to have a detail. The line just has to be long enough to go past that corner. I would say at least a quarter of an inch. Half an inch might be too much. Um, past the corner. And now we're going to do the same thing to the right side, the top and the bottom. Remember, leave this space. It's really important that you left a space right here. Vertical line right above here. Very simple detail, but it looks cool. Drawing here, go past the corner again. And that was the bottom. Now we're going towards the right side vanishing point. There we go. Okay, now to finish uh, off this little roof thing we're making, we just need a vertical line here and here. Make sure to get the really nice effect, make sure it goes a little bit past these two corners. You're gonna see in a minute, it's gonna look great. Okay. Vertical line, square that off over here. Using the top of the paper, right from the vertical line. Vertical line. And then to kind of put it down on top of the birdhouse, we need to see the bottom of it. We need to finish off where, where is the bottom of it. Right now it's kind of a flying something. So just like we did here on the bottom, we're going to crisscross down to the opposite vanishing points. Same thing. Don't draw a long line. This is a really short little line right here. See? This little line here went towards this vanishing point on the left. Now I'm going to do the same thing with this corner here. This little line I'm about to put in goes to this right vanishing point. If you, if you did not put these past this, it's not going to work. So go back and lengthen these two lines. But here we go. I'm going to take that corner to the right side vanishing point. And now we have a little rough sitting on top of our birdhouse. Kind of a cool little um, detail I can add into shading in the air or I can add it later. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is put an opening and a perch on our birdhouse. 
So a birdhouse, if you've ever seen one, that almost always has an opening in the middle. So let's put a square in where we want the opening to be. So you can have it on this side. This side really doesn't matter. It's up to you. I'm going to put it on this side. So if I'm going to find the middle, you know I'm going to be crossing some diagonals. So I'm putting diagonals on the side that I want the opening for the bird to go in that. Okay, here's my two diagonals. And then the circle, as you remember, um, we make a circle by... We make a circle by putting it into a square like this. So we're going to do this thing again to make our um, make our circular opening for the bird. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to build a box because I need this box on the outside to make a circle. So I've already got the diagonals, so I'm going to the diagonals. Help me, I think I want it about this big. So let's see. This have to kind of start by one how I want it to look. So I'm going to line to the vanishing point, crossing two of the diagonals. Okay, the rest of the square is now set in the shape. I just take where it crosses the two diagonals vertically until I get to the next diagonal. Same with this one. I take it the point of the diagonal vertically until I get to the next diagonal. And then I'm going to find the top of it, this square, uh, by lining those up to the vanishing point on the left. Look at that, it lines up. Amazing. Okay, so now that I have a square with two diagonals to put a circle in, I just need two more things. I need a vertical line right here. And I need a line, what would be horizontal, now it's going to be going to the vanishing point on the same side of the birdhouse, whichever side you're working on. Okay, and then to draw my circle, take my little half diagonals, divide them into thirds. Top of the circle goes here, the sides of the circle here, here. And see, the thing is, these are slightly oddly shaped circles because they're in perspective on this oddly shaped thing. So this gives you a circle that looks right on that building in perspective. So I, with my, remember I built this again, and I went two thirds of the way on this half diagonals, and then I just drew the circle, kind of like dot to dot. Um, now I don't need a lot of that information anymore, so I'm going to go in. I'm switching. I could use the eraser on that pencil, but I'm using the big eraser because that's what you guys have. Get rid of some of this stuff in the middle. Okay, so back to the circle. Another thing, you're looking up at it, so if you wanted to see how you're looking in right here, we could just sketch that in and it'll look something, something like that, looking up into the circle, just like we did here, and that shows how thick the board is. Okay, a perch for the bird. If the bird doesn't have something to land in, he's going to go crashing into his house, or maybe he'll miss and land and crash into the birdhouse. So the perch is right under the middle. We know where the middle is, right? Uh, we already found that, even though I drew this thing in perspective. So I'm going to take the middle line we already made and make a little mark down here. The perch is going to attach to the birdhouse right there. The next detail we're going to do is people don't really like this detail. It seems against your nature. But the perch is going to come out from the birdhouse in relation to the vanishing point. We're not going to randomly start adding horizontal lines. Remember, no horizontal lines. Bad word in this particular drawing. The only horizontal line is the horizon line. Everything else is going to a vanishing point where it's vertical. Uh, so this perch coming out from um, this uh, birdhouse is going to be coming out from an angle from the back side of the um, birdhouse. Let me, I've got a little tiny thing to erase right here. So a lot of people kind of don't want to do this. They put it in uh, horizontally, in a, and it's not going to look right. So perch, backside vanishing point. I brought the middle of, I already had that uh, middle right there, so I just took my angle, 
transferred that information down, drew a little line, because I had the middle, here's the middle. And then I took two lines coming out from there, one above, one above, in relation to the right vanishing point. And then here's the end of it. I'm going to curve the two ends of it. And then we have a little perch for the bird. Now, everybody doesn't like it when you first draw it. And if you're the closer your birdhouse is to the vanishing point, the more the perch is going to kind of point up. So it, it, you, you're going to want to draw it horizontally, but don't draw it in reference to the vanishing point. Okay, from this point on, you just get to add some details to your drawings. I, I never intended this to be a quick drawing. You're supposed to practice working in perspective. Uh, there's cool stuff you can do. Um, it's really easy if you wanted to add, this is optional, if you wanted to add another story to your birdhouse. You just put another line up here and um, start, start drawing. You know what I mean? Um, so you can do some pretty cool stuff. I would probably um, make it smaller. So here it is leaning over the birdhouse. It's like there's some porch or something, uh, whatever this is. And I could put a little porch on that. Anyway, I could keep using my perspective to add all kinds of things. I can draw a bird, you know, diving in, you know. Anyway, well, whatever details you want to uh, draw, this is what I want you to do to continue this drawing. Just to show you a couple more things. I'll oh, just I did some things a little different in this drawing. Here's a student drawing, has a combination of some things kind of in perspective and some hand drawn things. Remember, it can go either way, whatever you like. Here's a student drawing. Look up here, they added a second story to the birdhouse as well as things down there. Here, there's a pretty elaborate area up here, but it's kind of more simple down here. And then this one has a lot of hand-drawn details, but not so many things done in perspective. So you can just draw hand-drawn details. You can do perspective, combination. I just want you to keep going with the drawing and keep kind of get a feel for how this 3D stuff is going to work. So enjoy the end of the drawing. You're going to take a photograph of it and then send it, of course, to my MHS. Thank you.